Stop the foolishness. Stop the violence. Find something with your life. Go to school. Find a job. And as you can see, it's not just this community. We've got a gun cancer in the city. It's not a surprise. The gun violence today is a reflection of what we did not do yesterday. People must understand that. And that means we have to change what we did if we don't want it to become Chicago. Wagwan, everybody. Welcome to our next episode of Tata Things Podcast. Before we get into today's topic, I want to apologize. I want to apologize. I want to apologize. I know I've been away for a long time, about 10 days, and I think that's the longest it's been um, that I've never posted, but I've been very busy. I've gotten a new pet and I had to train it. Um, I've been doing my restaurant. You guys know I have my restaurant. And my, I don't want to say my restaurant comes first because I love my YouTube, but when that gets busy, it gets busy. And I don't have time to um recording them someday. But, you know, we're back over here today. And before we get into today's topic, I want to remind you guys to follow me on IG at Talk the Things with Two Zs. Also, follow me at Tree Bills Food. That's my restaurant Instagram. Um, And you guys can hit me up on those pages. On the Talk the Things one, if you have any ideas for my YouTube, any videos you want me to talk about, any suggestions, anything that you want to give feedback on, message me on the Talk the Things. If you wanted to get caterings, if you wanted to book me for your events, um, anything like that, then you will go to Tree Bills Food. They're two separate businesses. So don't message the Talk the Things asking for food and don't message the Tree Bills Food about the Talk the Things. There's each different page for both of them. Also, if you guys go on my Instagram at Chibios Food, you will see that I just post it for the place that I cook live at every Sunday. And any of you guys can come out and come support. And you guys can come buy Chibios Food for all the people who are asking me. The address is posted on my Instagram. And you guys can come there every Sunday it happens and come buy some Chibios Food. So getting into today's topic, we're going to be talking about Lawrence Heights. That's the real name. But man, them just call it Jungle. People from Toronto just call it Jungle. Um, A girl I was talking to, actually, her dude was from Jungle. But you see, I come from the East. And I never really know nobody that come from Jungle like that, other than the one person I told you guys. Um, The name Jungle supposedly comes from, I've seen a couple of different things, but it supposedly comes from people who, like, say you come from Scarborough and you go over there to go pick up somebody. You would have got lost because there's bare roads and it's all windy and it moves like a jungle you guys let me know how true that is i don't know i don't know if that's how it go but that's i seen something that says something like that but we're going to be talking about something i called the week of shootings now even though this was two weeks um i just call it the week of shootings because there were shootings back to back to back to back to back to back to back and we don't know if they were connected there was a couple rumors going around but we can't be for sure so that's what we're going to be talking about today and the first story we're going to be talking about happened on july 15th of 2019 and it happened at 4 47 p.m and it was at 36 pengart now i hope i'm saying that right but the story goes that an SUV pulled up and just let out bare shots. And we're shooting at, I think, a person. I don't know if it was the next vehicle, if it was a person, if it was a person else. There's not much on the news articles then, but it just said that that's what happened. So I want to play you guys the video so you guys can see. And a lot of the cases are like this. There's not much of who got shot how they like did they live did they dead it just talks about the shooting and then it shows the, the, the footage them i got it off toronto sun so i'm gonna play you guys a video now and i'm gonna be back with the next case that happened right after this All right, so you guys just seen that. Now, now, this never happened right after, you know. It was actually about 11 days after, on the 26th of July, um, at 2.38 p.m. at Tundra and Varna. There was a construction crew, and they're just working, doing their thing or whatever. And I think they said that they seen a window. Now, I don't know if it was a house window, if it was a car window, but they said they seen a window that was littered with bullets, beer gunshot hole in the glass. And they wind up calling the police about that. But then... At 7, 10 p.m., look or more that day, the same day, the 26th, police responded to gunshots at 88 
Ridgeville. Now, I don't know. I, for, I think it said it was close by. I think it said it was close by. But we don't know if these two are connected. I don't know why they put it together in one article. Um, I don't know if they're trying to say that like it was a car that they seen with bullets, the construction man them seen with bullets earlier in the day. And then at 7, 10 p.m., it said that they got respond to gunshot. And then they showed that picture of the car. I really don't know. But that's all we have with that story. And you guys can see how close the two shootings or the two situations was. Even though it never said that they responded to... um. The construction man them never said they heard gunshot or the news never put that in there. All it says was that they seen a car that was full of bullets or they seen a window that was full of bullets. So we can't be too sure if the car that they found local more at 7, 10 p.m. is the same car or the same window that the people them are talking about earlier in the day. There must have been a reason they put these two cases together. I don't know. But going on to the next case, this happened now the day after on July 27, 2019 at 12.56 a.m. And this happened at Lawrence and Varna. Now, there were some people in the SUV, right? And they shot from the SUV. They wind the window down and shot out through the window from the car. Um, I think I have a video of that. And I'll play it after this. But four minutes later, on that same day, just four minutes later, there was a shooting at Batters. And I believe that's just a little bit up the road. That's not too far from where this was. So you guys can kind of see why people thought it was like a war going on or that it was something connected. Because how are these shootings so back to back, back to back, and they're not far from each other? It's all in the same area. I don't know, bro. I'm going to play you guys the video and I'll be right back. So now this happened about a day and a half, two days later on July 29th of 2019. And this happened at 11.51 p.m. And there was five gunshots that let go from a car. And it was on Renee and Varna. Yo, Varna sounds like across the street because but look how much time we call, we call Varna from the beginning until now. And now this happened, at, I think it's pronounced Renee and Varna. And this was a car they said that just came up and shot five times out of the car. So I'm going to play you guys the video of that and it'll be right back. All right. So now this is where it gets even crazier because remember, this was July 29th at 1151. Now we're at, it crossed over past 12 now. So a few hours later on July 30th at 2.06 a.m., a truck just shot enough bullets out into our next car, they said. They said it was a truck this time and they shot bare bullets into our car. Now, we don't know if this car was um the car that did the shooting earlier, but they just said the truck shot up the car. And that was just a few minutes later. So you guys can see again why people were starting to think that it was a war going on. Now, those shootings that happened, that wasn't like the two weeks time. It was really about 15 days. But there was a next shooting that caught my attention. And I have video of this. And this one, it kind of pissed a lot of people off at the time that it happened. This happened all the way back in 09. There was an 18-year-old that we're going to call Ahmed. That's how we're going to call him in this episode. And he was shot in his head and killed in March of 2008. And there was two people that were arrested in April. But I, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to play you guys the video so you guys can see how the people them just walked up to him, did whatever. And then I'm going to come back with how the story continues. All right, so you guys just seen that. So now in 2009, of February of 2009, they, um, all the charges were dropped. If you guys don't remember, like I said before, the, um, I played you guys the video, the two people were arrested um, in April and the shooting happened in March of 2008. They were arrested in April 2008. But in 2009, the February of 2009, 
all the charges was dropped against them due to lack of evidence. Now, a lot of people were saying, how the hell is that when you have the video of the two men them walking up? Well, a lot of the people, um, the crown and them were saying, well, we can't say for sure if it's them. You know what I mean? We just see two people, but how you know say are them? And it, it turned into a big thing. A lot of people, um, Ahmed's family was pissed off because they felt like nothing came out of the whole situation. Um, They went to jail. You guys got the people them, and then you guys let them go. It was one big thing, but um, if they never had the evidence to say it's them, you can't do that. You can't just pin it on them and just say whatever. If there's not enough evidence, they're going to let them go. That's just how it goes. But I want you guys to let me know what you think about this situation. To be honest, I don't have much thoughts on this case because on these cases because there's not much information out about them anyway. But the whole um bag of shooting like that in one time, that's crazy. I'm not lie for it to be in like a two week time. But it's clear that there was some type of war or something going on. Why they would have been because people just don't shoot just like that. You know what I mean? There has to be a reason. So my God, you guys let me know what you think about this episode. If you live in jungle, let me know some stuff in the comment section. We can talk about it and keep the discussion going. And we will talk next time on Talk the Things Podcast. Hey, 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 hey.